Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Camille, and today we're going to be talking about DSR, Dynamic Super Resolution by NVIDIA. Alright, so first and foremost, WTF is DSR? Well, DSR stands for Dynamic Super Resolution. It is an NVIDIA-only technology, so it will only work with NVIDIA graphics cards at this time, but I'm sure AMD will have something similar to it in the future. Alright, so what it is, is it allows you to play 4K on a 1080p monitor. It'll have a 4K image, and it'll downsample it, and it'll just project it onto your 1080p monitor. So which means that your computer will be rendering images at 4K, but just shrinking them onto an 1080p monitor. So pretty much, you're playing at 4K, but it's only displaying in 1080p. Now, what this means is that it, it, uh, it's a lot sharper than it would be in 1080p, because larger image, larger stuff has to render. So it shrinks it down, so you get a lot more detail, uh, better textures in some, in some cases, and um, that does affect the performance. So what I have for you guys today is a comparison between 1080p and the uh, DSR 4K on games such as Counter-Strike Global Offensive, Borderlands, and games that I know will be able to run at above 60 frames per second on a GTX 980. So they'll be put side to side and uh, you guys will be able to tell for yourself whether you guys would like uh, whether down sample, uh, dynamic super resolution is worth it or not because it does take a hit on your performance. So um, Let's get started. Uh, make sure to watch in 1080p HD so that you guys can see the full differences. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys after. Alright guys, so the first game that we have is Sleeping Dogs. On the left we have it at 4K, set on the high preset. We could not play it at extreme because my 90 could not handle it above 30 frames per second. And on the right we have it at 1080p on the high preset as well. So yeah guys, just check it out and enjoy the music. Alright guys, so next up we have Saints Row 4. It is running on an older engine, the same engine as Saints Row 3, but as you guys can see, it still does look pretty kick-ass. On the left side, we're running it at 4K, 3840 by 2160 resolution, and on the right, we're running it at full HD, 1080 p 1920 by 1080p. So yeah guys, uh, listen to the music, and uh, yeah, enjoy. Next up we have Borderlands 2. This game is quite old, uh, a couple years old, like five years old, but it still looks really nice with cell shaded graphics. It isn't too demanding on any system. So yeah, on the left side we have it at 4K, on the right side we have it at 1080p. Uh, yeah, enjoy the gameplay and listen to the music.
Next up, we have Counter-Strike Global Offensive. This is running on the Source engine. It is a couple years old, but it is uh, capable to be played at above 100 frames per second at 4K, which is, by the way, on the left and 1080p on the right. Um, so yeah, guys, sorry, excuse my terrible gameplay, but yeah, uh, enjoy the music and check out the gameplay. Alright, so last but not least, we have Payday 2. I'm terrible at this game, as you guys can see in the gameplay, but on the left side, we have it at 4K, and on the right side, we have it at 1080p. So yeah, check it out. So there you guys go with the comparison between the graphics of 4K, DSR, and 1080p regular full HD. So I hope you guys enjoyed. It did take me a while to put this all together, so you guys can leave a like right below. That would be awesome. And don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe, and I'll check you guys out next week or whenever I decide to make a video next. So catch you later, guys. Bye-bye.